Welcome to Health Fitness Tube. Check out this video on a 30 minute walk to keep you motivated. Maybe we should get you ready for a marathon. <laughs> Here you go. Okay, so maybe marathon training was a tad ambitious. Tad, we made it, what, two blocks before collapsing on a bench? Hey, those pigeons were judging our form. We had to stop. Exactly. We're all about protecting our reputations here, but seriously, there's got to be a way to get fit that doesn't involve, you know, turning into a puddle of sweat. Right? Something approachable. Something that doesn't require signing your life away to a gym contract. And something we can actually stick with. Enter the mighty power walk. To conquering fitness, one step at a time. You know, I've tried every fitness fad under the sun. Zumba, hot yoga, even that weird one with the trampolines. Oh yeah, the trampoline thing. I attempted that once, let's just say gravity won. The struggle is real, but seriously, I always felt so out of place. Like I didn't belong in those fitness guru worlds. Totally, surrounded by lycra and perfect ponytails. It's intimidating. Exactly. I just want something simple, you know? Something that feels good. And doesn't require learning a whole new language of workout lingo. Right? So one day I just started walking, just around the block at first. And you know what? It felt amazing. Yeah, seriously, I felt the same way. That lit the spark. What about those days when you just don't feel like moving? We all have those, totally serious. It was like this hidden superpower I never knew I had. The more I walked, the better I felt. More energy, less stress. Oh, trust me, I know those days well. But even on those days, I tell myself, just 10 minutes, Amy. You can do 10 minutes. And you know what? It really works. You magically want to keep going. You know, I actually started walking more too, just to run errands and stuff. I didn't even think of it as exercise at first. It's like tricking my own brain. Exactly. Plus, no judgmental gym mirrors or complicated machines. See? It's sneaky exercise. And it's free. No expensive equipment or fancy gym memberships required. Just me, my comfy shoes, and the open road or sidewalk in this case. See? It's not just a workout, it's an adventure. And you can tailor it to your own pace and preferences. You're telling me. The other day I saw this amazing street art I never noticed before, and this little bakery with the most incredible smell. Exactly. It's like you rediscover your own city when you walk. You notice all these little details you miss when you're rushing around. So no more marathon aspirations? I have to admit a small part of me is relieved. Hey, maybe one day. But for now, I'm all about embracing the power of the walk. To walking, for fitness, for fun, and for those delicious bakery pit stops along the way. All right, Ben, ready for a challenge? Let's see who can clock the most steps in the next 30 minutes. You're going down, Amy. Prepare to be schooled in the art of the power walk. Extra kale, you're playing dirty, Amy. All right, let's do this. S1, oh, it's on, and the loser has to buy smoothies after. Extra kale for you if I win. Calling out playfully. Come on, Slowpoke, those steps won't count themselves. Picking up his pace. Don't underestimate the power of my long legs, Amy. I'm like a gazelle on pavement. Hey, I resemble that remark, but seriously, I'm feeling good. This power walk thing is no joke. A gazelle? I've seen your apartment more like a house cat trying to outrun a vacuum cleaner. Challenge accepted, but I reserve the right to complain about gravity later. Hill challenge, let's see those gazelle legs in action. See, we laugh in the face of hills. It's all about that mental game. Mental game, huh? I'm pretty sure my quads are having a very real conversation with this incline right now. You know, I'm starting to think you're just in it for the post-workout smoothies. Hydration break, gotta stay fueled for fitness glory. Maybe, but hey, at least I'm honest about my motivations. Besides, who doesn't love a good smoothie? Touche, all right, break over, let's do this. This park is like our own personal obstacle course. Watch out for those rogue squirrels. And the pigeons, they're fearless in this city, I swear. Playing along. Shh, don't blow our cover. We have to blend in with the civilians, see? It's all about agility training. We're basically ninja warriors in disguise. Not if I can help it. I'm bringing home the Berry Blast Victory Smoothie. Almost there. Give it all you've got, Ben. I can practically taste that kale smoothie. As they round a bend, the end of their designated loop in sight, their pace quickens, fueled by friendly competition. The music builds to a crescendo as they approach the finish line. They cross it simultaneously, both breathless and exhilarated. Okay, I think my legs are staging a mutiny. 
You know, it's like they have a mind of their own. One minute they're all gung-ho about this walk, and the next they're screaming for a break. It's like they're saying, hey, we didn't sign up for this marathon. They're demanding a truce and maybe a nap. Honestly, a nap sounds like the best idea right now. Imagine just lying down on the grass, feeling the cool breeze and drifting off. But no, we have to keep going. Why did we think this was a good idea again? Don't even talk about naps. If I start thinking about naps, I might just collapse right here. The thought of a soft pillow and a cozy blanket is too tempting. But we have to stay strong. We can do this, right? I can already picture myself passed out on this park bench, mistaken for a lost tourist. People would walk by and wonder, why is that person sleeping in the middle of the day? They'd probably think I had too much fun last night or something. Tourist with excellent taste in walking shoes, though. At least if I'm going to pass out, I'll do it in style. These shoes are the only thing keeping me going right now. They're like little clouds for my feet. Seriously, how do people do this every day? I see people jogging, power walking, and even running marathons. Do they have some secret energy source that we don't know about? Maybe they have a stash of energy drinks or something? I don't know, Ben. Maybe they're fueled by magic beans or something. You know, like in those fairy tales. They eat a handful of magic beans and suddenly they have endless energy. We need to find some of those beans. Right now, I'd settle for a magic carpet ride back to my couch. Just imagine, flying over the park, waving at everyone below, and landing softly on my couch. That would be the dream. The scene opens with Amy and Ben halfway through their power walk, their initial enthusiasm waning. They started off with such high hopes, thinking this walk would be a breeze, but now their feet are dragging and their shoes are covered in dust. Each step feels like a monumental effort. They've slowed their pace, their steps losing their pep. The energy they had at the beginning has evaporated, replaced by a heavy fatigue. They look around and see others walking briskly, seemingly unaffected by the heat and distance. It's both inspiring and disheartening. The sun beats down on the park and beads of sweat form on their foreheads. The heat is relentless, making every movement feel like a chore. They wipe their brows trying to keep the sweat out of their eyes, but it keeps coming. The park, which once seemed like a pleasant place for a walk, now feels like an endurance test. Amy and Ben reminisce about their initial excitement. They remember how they had planned this walk for weeks, looking forward to the fresh air and exercise. They had even bought new walking shoes and matching water bottles. But now, all that excitement seems like a distant memory. Their new walking shoes, once pristine and stylish, are now dusty and worn. The soles are starting to show signs of wear, and the laces are frayed. It's a stark reminder of how far they've come and how much further they still have to go. They decide to take a brief break, sitting on a park bench. They sip water from their matching bottles, trying to regain some energy. The bench feels like a small oasis in the middle of their grueling journey. They take deep breaths, enjoying the momentary respite. Despite their exhaustion, there's a look of determination on their faces. They know they can't give up now. They've come too far to turn back. They share a look, silently encouraging each other to keep going. It's a small but powerful moment of camaraderie. With renewed resolve, Amy and Ben stand up, ready to continue their walk. They know it won't be easy, but they're determined to finish what they started. They take a deep breath and start walking again, their steps a little more confident than before. As they walk, the sun begins to set, casting a golden glow over the park. The heat starts to dissipate, replaced by a cool evening breeze. The park, which had felt like a challenge, now feels like a beautiful place to be. They take in the sights and sounds, appreciating the beauty around them. Amy and Ben smile, feeling a sense of accomplishment. They've pushed through the fatigue and discomfort, and now they're reaping the rewards. The walk, which had seemed so daunting, now feels like a victory. They share a laugh, feeling proud of themselves. They give each other a high five, celebrating their achievement. It's a small gesture, but it means a lot. They've proven to themselves that they can do it, that they have the strength and determination to push through, even when it's tough. As they walk towards the park exit, they look forward to a well-deserved rest. The thought of their cozy couches and a cool drink is a welcome reward. They know they'll be sore tomorrow, but for now, they're just happy to have made it through. The park is now quiet and peaceful, the sun having set completely. The day's challenges are behind them, and they can finally relax. 
They take one last look at the park, feeling a sense of gratitude for the experience. It was tough, but it was worth it. Oof, there's that side stitch I've heard so much about. It's like a tiny wrestler decided to take up residence in my ribs. You know, it's funny how something so small can cause such a big disruption. I was just getting into my groove, feeling the rhythm of my steps, and then bam, it's like my body decided to remind me who's really in charge here. Oh, I know that feeling. Remember that time we tried that boot camp class? I swear, I was feeling muscle groups I never knew existed. It was like an awakening, but not the kind you read about in self-help books. More like a rude awakening where every fiber of your being is screaming at you to stop. But we pushed through, didn't we? We were determined to conquer that challenge, even if it meant hobbling around for days afterward. How could I forget? We were like baby gazelles trying to keep up with a herd of cheetahs. But hey, at least this time we're in charge of our own pace, no one to impress but ourselves. It's liberating, really. We can listen to our bodies, take breaks when we need to, and push ourselves when we feel ready. It's a whole different experience when you're not under the watchful eye of a drill sergeant. Exactly. And we get to choose our own soundtrack. No screaming drill sergeant with a whistle today. Just the music that motivates us, the beats that keep us going. It's amazing how the right song can make you feel like you can conquer the world, even when your body is telling you otherwise. Remember that playlist we made for our runs? It had everything from rock anthems to pop hits, and it always seemed to give us that extra boost when we needed it. Ben stretches out his legs, wincing slightly as they reminisce about their past fitness challenges with a mix of humor and a touch of nostalgia. It's these moments that make the journey worthwhile. The shared struggles, the laughter, the memories of pushing through the pain together. It's not just about the physical gains, but the bonds we form along the way. Each cramp, each stitch, each moment of discomfort is a reminder of our resilience and determination. And as they continue their workout, they know that every step, every stretch, every breath is a testament to their strength and perseverance. They may not be the fastest or the strongest, but they are committed to their journey, and that's what truly matters. Preparing for a workout is almost a ritual. The right gear, the perfect playlist, and of course, staying hydrated. Water bottles at the ready, they know the importance of keeping their bodies fueled and ready for the challenge ahead. It's not just about the workout itself, but the preparation that goes into it. The small details that make a big difference. The right shoes to support their feet, the comfortable clothes that allow for freedom of movement, and the mental preparation that sets the tone for the session. Warming up is crucial. It's the bridge between the everyday and the extraordinary. A time to transition from the hustle and bustle of daily life to the focused intensity of a workout. Stretching, light jogging, getting the blood flowing and the muscles ready. It's a moment of mindfulness, a chance to tune into their bodies and prepare for the challenge ahead. They know that a good warm-up can make all the difference, preventing injuries and setting the stage for a successful workout. Encouragement is key. A simple high five, a smile, a word of motivation can go a long way. They support each other, knowing that together they are stronger. It's not just about individual achievements, but the collective effort, the camaraderie, the shared goals, the mutual respect. They push each other to be better, to go further, to reach new heights. And in those moments of doubt, when the cramps set in and the muscles ache, they remind each other of their strength and resilience. Cooling down is just as important as warming up. It's a time to reflect, to let the body recover, to breathe deeply and let the tension melt away. Stretching, deep breathing, taking a moment to appreciate the effort and the progress. It's a time to celebrate the small victories, the steps taken, the goals achieved. They know that every workout is a step forward, a building block in their journey. And as they cool down, they feel a sense of accomplishment, knowing that they have given their best and pushed their limits. Laughter is the best medicine. After the workout, they share a laugh, enjoying the moment, the sense of camaraderie, the joy of having pushed through the challenge together. It's these moments that make it all worthwhile. The shared experiences, the bonds formed, the memories created. They know that fitness is not just about the physical, but the mental and emotional as well. It's about finding joy in the journey, celebrating the small victories, and supporting each other along the way. Planning the next workout is always exciting. Discussing goals, strategies, and the next challenge to tackle. They know that the journey is ongoing, that there is always room for improvement, always new heights to reach. 
they set their sights on the next goal, motivated and inspired by their progress. They know that with each workout, they are getting stronger, more resilient, more determined. And as they plan their next session, they feel a sense of anticipation, ready to take on whatever comes their way. Refueling is essential. After a tough workout, they enjoy a healthy snack, replenishing their energy and giving their bodies the nutrients they need to recover. It's a moment of satisfaction, knowing that they have earned it, that they have pushed their limits and come out stronger. They savor the moment, the taste of success, the feeling of accomplishment. And as they refuel, they reflect on their journey, the progress they have made, and the goals they have yet to achieve. Saying goodbye is always bittersweet. They part ways with smiles and high fives, knowing that they will meet again for the next workout. They feel a sense of camaraderie, a bond that goes beyond the physical. They are not just fitness enthusiasts, but friends supporting each other on their journey. And as they say goodbye, they feel a sense of gratitude, knowing that they are not alone, that they have each other to lean on, to motivate, to inspire. They look forward to the next session, ready to take on new challenges and reach new heights together. The journey continues. With each workout, each challenge, each moment of discomfort, they grow stronger, more resilient, more determined. They know that the road ahead is long, but they are ready for it. They embrace the journey, the ups and downs, the victories and the setbacks. They know that it's not just about the destination, but the journey itself. And as they continue on their path, they feel a sense of purpose, a drive to keep going, to keep pushing, to keep striving for their best. Mind over muscle, they are ready to take on whatever comes their way. Speaking of soundtracks, time for a motivational boost. What are we feeling, Ben? Upbeat pop, classic rock anthems, or maybe some nature sounds to drown out the city noise? Hmm, how about something with a good beat? Something that'll make us forget we're basically walking off our breakfast pastries. Let's do it. Champions might be pushing it, but hey, we'll settle for conquering this sidewalk, one step at a time. Perfect, nothing like a good beat to get those endorphins flowing. Ready to tackle the rest of this walk like the fitness champions we are? Totally, it's all mental, I swear. Once you push past that initial I'd rather be napping phase, it's smooth sailing, or at least smoother sidewalk striding. You know, there's something to be said for finding your second wind. It's like your body finally gives in and decides to cooperate, right? And let's be real, the people watching opportunities are way better out here in the wild, exactly. Who needs fancy treadmills with incline settings when you have the natural beauty of the urban jungle to challenge you? Oh no, a detour. This is going to throw off my whole step count. Relax, Amy, it's just a minor setback. Think of it as an opportunity to work on our improvisation skills. Exactly. This is top secret fitness training, Amy. We can't let them know our true purpose. Improvisation skills, you mean like pretending we're secret agents on a mission dodging unsuspecting civilians? Never fear, Amy, I came prepared. I'm basically a walking, talking first aid kit when it comes to unexpected weather changes. Oh, great. As if this detour wasn't enough, now it's raining. Talk about testing our commitment. Laughing. Oh, you are good, Ben, you are good. All right, rain or shine, we walk on. This power walk just got a whole lot more adventurous. That's the spirit. And hey, if it gets really bad, we can always duck into that coffee shop we passed earlier. They have those ridiculously oversized muffins, remember? Totally. Even the air smells cleaner. And the way the light reflects off the buildings it's like walking through a painting. You know, there's something kind of magical about the city after the rain. It's like everything gets a fresh start. You know, never really noticed all these sounds before. It's like we're walking to the beat of the city, S1. And listen, it's like the city has its own soundtrack today. Hear that saxophone player? Thanks. We're trying. You're putting us to shame with those moves. Keep moving, youngsters. You're looking good. You know, that's one of the things I love about walking. You never know who you're going to meet or what you're going to see. It's like a daily dose of the unexpected. I know, right? Maybe we should take up Tai Chi next. It seems a lot more graceful than our usual flailing. I get it. It's not about the destination. It's about the journey, right? Or something like that. Nah, it's not about the smoothie anymore. Well, maybe a little. But seriously, I'm actually starting to look forward to these walks. It's like a chance to clear my head, get some fresh air, and just be present. What? Giving up already, Ben? 
I thought you were going for that berry blast smoothie victory. You know, I've been so focused on beating you in this step challenge that I almost forgot to just enjoy the walk itself. Remember when we struggled to even make it up this hill? Now look at us, we practically flew up it. We did, didn't we? I think all those stairs in my apartment building are finally paying off. This is what I'm talking about, Ben. Those small victories, those moments when you realize you're stronger than you thought you were, it's addictive. Addictive in a good way, right? Not like those gummy bears I can't stop eating. You know, it's funny how something as simple as walking can become this whole thing. It's like our own little fitness adventure. Our very own urban odyssey, complete with rogue pigeons and surprise rain showers. Exactly. And the best part? We're in this together. We motivate each other, we make each other laugh, and we're not afraid to indulge in a post-workout smoothie or two. To friendship, fitness, and the power of putting one foot in front of the other. Wow, will you look at that? We've come so far. We have, haven't we? Both literally and figuratively. Who knew that walking could be so transformative? Right? It's amazing what you can accomplish when you just start walking. Remember when we started this whole walking thing? We were so focused on the finish line, on clocking those steps, on proving something to ourselves. How could I forget? I was convinced you'd turn into a kale-powered superhero by week two, and I was determined to outwalk you step for step. A kale-powered superhero? That's amazing. But you know what? Somewhere along the way, something shifted. I totally agree. It stopped being about the numbers and became more about, how do I put this? Feeling good, I guess? Oh, the willpower. It was exhausting just thinking about working out. I'd practically give myself pep talks just to face the gym. Exactly. It's like, remember how we used to be constantly tired? Dragging ourselves through the day, fueled by coffee and willpower? Haha, <laughs> right? And now, I actually wake up with energy. Who knew that was even possible without an IV drip of espresso? Seriously, I even take the stairs now instead of the elevator. Most days, at least. Okay, sometimes, but still. Progress, right? It's like walking clears your head, you know? There's something almost magical about the rhythm of your steps, the fresh air filling your lungs, and the world moving around you. It's a simple act, but it has profound effects on your mind and body. Gives you a chance to sort through your thoughts, work things out. When you're walking, it's like the noise of everyday life fades away, and you can finally hear your own thoughts clearly. It's a time to reflect, to plan, and to dream. Me too. I find that walking with friends adds another layer of joy to the experience. It's not just about the physical activity. It's about the connection, the conversations, and the shared moments. We laugh, we talk about our day, and sometimes we just walk in comfortable silence, enjoying each other's company. Remember how we used to get all worked up about every little thing? Every minor inconvenience felt like a major crisis. But now, with walking as a regular part of our routine, it's like we've gained a new perspective. We can handle stress better, and we don't sweat the small stuff as much. Now I'm like, bring it on, world. I've got my walking shoes. I can handle anything. There's a sense of empowerment that comes with knowing you have a simple, effective tool to manage your stress and boost your mood. It's like having a secret weapon in your back pocket. Major progress. It's amazing to see how far we've come. Walking has become more than just a form of exercise. It's a way of life. It's about setting goals, pushing our limits, and celebrating our achievements, no matter how small they may seem. And it's not just the physical stuff. Sure, walking helps us stay fit and healthy, but the benefits go beyond that. It's about mental clarity, emotional balance, and overall well-being. It's about feeling good in your own skin and being at peace with yourself. I swear, my stress levels have plummeted. There's something incredibly soothing about being in nature, even if it's just a city park. The greenery, the birds chirping, the gentle rustle of leaves, it all contributes to a sense of calm and tranquility. Totally. My best ideas come to me when I'm walking. It's like my mind is free to wander and explore new possibilities. The act of walking seems to stimulate creativity and problem solving. 
I've come up with some of my most innovative solutions while on a walk. It's like my brain finally has room to breathe and be creative. When I'm stuck on a problem or need a fresh perspective, a walk is often the best remedy. The change of scenery, the physical movement, and the break from routine all contribute to a burst of inspiration. Or maybe it's just the increased blood flow. Who knows? There's definitely a scientific aspect to it, the way walking gets your heart pumping and your blood circulating. But there's also something intangible, something that can't be measured or quantified. It's the feeling of being alive, of being connected to the world around you, and of finding joy in the simple act of putting one foot in front of the other. Smile because whatever it is, it works. And to think, all it took was putting one foot in front of the other. High five to walking. For fitness, for fun, for mental clarity, and for proving that we're not just capable of starting a fitness journey, but actually sticking with it. So what are you waiting for? Your walking journey starts now. No gym memberships, no fancy equipment, just you and the open path. Remember, every step counts. So lace up those sneakers, grab a friend, and let's get moving. That's right. Whether you're a seasoned pro or just starting out, walking is the perfect way to improve your health, clear your head, and rediscover the world around you. And hey, don't forget those awesome playlists. Nothing like a good beat to keep you motivated and energized. We had a blast taking you on this power walk adventure with us. Now it's your turn. And don't forget to subscribe to stay up on all the latest health fitness tube workout videos, health tips, and motivational content. Join the movement. Let's create a community of walkers supporting and inspiring each other every step of the way. Hit that bell icon to get notified about our latest uploads. Thanks for walking with us. Share your walking stories, tips, and favorite routes in the comments below. We'll see you on the next adventure. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one.